Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Nebraska Lands USA map. We have quite a lot of things we need to do today. We will be buying a new car. We'll be checking out a great deal on a dirt bike and trailer and also test driving a brand new truck. About five and a half months ago, I ordered a 2020 Shelby GT350R, and today it has arrived at the dealership. Perfect timing. Yesterday, we picked up our Porsche GT3. So today, up first, we'll be trading in our Mustang GT for the Shelby. We will be trailering it over to the dealership and trailering it back using the Ram and the enclosed trailer. So we are trading this in. This is a 2018 Mustang GT, only 3,200 miles on it. Not too bad. I did get a great trade in value as well. So let's get this warmed up and let's get the truck pulled around and ready to go. I've been wanting to get this new Shelby here in Farming Simulator for quite a long time. And I have been working on this in the Porsche over the last uh, few days. I think trailering it is the correct way to go because I don't want anything to get damaged and both the Porsche and the Shelby will be going off to a shop to get full paint protection film in a ceramic coating. That's I think going to be the game plan. That way they are protected from rock chips when we go to the track and also when we go on back roads and mountain roads. Get this loaded in here. It is a bit of a tight fit, and there is a pretty big difference from just the regular Mustang GT to the Shelby GT350R. We'll go uh, and talk about those in detail once we kind of have them side by side. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Mine's been awesome. It's been uh, pretty warm here lately, which is great, even though we are in the winter. It's nice to have some warm days and uh, to take a break from all those very cold uh, days that we have. So like I touched upon in a few videos ago, I am considering getting the new 2020 Super Duty. A lot of you guys have been asking for it, so we are going to be test driving it today. And maybe we might just go ahead and buy one, or we might add it. Uh, but we do have a ton, a ton of trucks. So let me know down below, what should we do with that? I also would like to add another uh, sports car, another Porsche, to our uh, garage, but I'm not sure because we do have a lot of cool toys, and there it is, brand new GT350R. I can't wait to see both these Mustangs side by side. So our 2018 Mustang GT has a 5.0 liter V8 while the Shelby has a 5.2 liter flat plane crank so it has a completely different sound. It has a completely different manual transmission, carbon fiber wheels and we do have a big wing on the back and a seat delete as well. This is only two seater, it removes the back seat, wow this thing looks so uh, sweet straight from the factory and it will probably bring it this week uh, to get paint protected and get all that done as well. I really want to take good care of all of my sport cars and we do have a hood camera view as well. So I did get the Oxford white with also uh, the uh, dual uh, over the top blue stripes. I think that's a nice uh, classic look for the Shelby's. It will be pretty cool to put this right next to our uh, 1965 GT500, which we'll do today. It's going to be cool to kind of see them uh, next to each other. If you guys haven't already, I do ask that you like today's video. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithms and makes it so that more and more people can watch these videos. Now the Ram uh, with the Cummins and being a dually is the perfect tow setup. I really wanted to tow this and the toy hauler with the dually. It's just a much more stable ride and it's a little bit safer as well. And uh, cars going by pretty quickly. I have noticed that a lot of people speed on these farm roads around here. Now we'll take it for a short ride around the uh, neighborhood really quickly and then I do want to kind of compare to the other older uh, Shelby and also kind of park it in the garage and see uh, what it's going to look like. 
it's a bit low here, but these carbon fiber wheels are pretty expensive, and they go for probably around four to five thousand a piece. Wow, this thing looks so so cool. Now I am working on a full interior here for us, along with a Porsche. Uh, both are just a work in progress in general and are currently private. Don't want to go uh, too fast. We do have to follow the break-in period. And in the mail coming up, we should be getting the owner's package, which is a few cool things uh, that Ford gives when you buy one of these. Now this uh, car here I picked up for around $74,000, just around MSRP, and uh, that's kind of a good deal. Before we put it in the garage, I do want to get out the uh, old one. So let's park it in front, and uh, let's get both the doors opened up. Now this is definitely a dream garage here. Definitely want to own all three of these cars in real life, especially this GT3. This thing looks so sweet. We'll be taking these to the track coming up in some videos. And uh, maybe since we do have this lift, we might buy another Porsche. I did talk about which one it could be. And we kind of have the opposite paint colors here, which is kind of cool as well. I mean, that looks awesome. Look at that guy. So the uh, 1965 GT500 to the 20 GT350R. Now, I was considering getting the GT500, but I want the manual, and I want it naturally aspirated. And this thing looks so uh, cool. This does have 526 horsepower, and it's a high revving 8200 RPM it goes to. So we are more than uh, fine there with power. The similarities is pretty good as well. Wow. This is awesome to have two iconic cars next to each other. But let's bring this inside and move on to the next thing today. Now I am trying to finish up on the scaling for both of these cars. Trying to make sure that they are to the correct scales to be realistic here. So we could put a car underneath this and I think that would be the way to go and just trying to get centered here on the left. Do prefer a four post for storage and that's kind of the only reason why I have this. But let's get the ram and the trailer put away and for that we are just kind of going to leave them almost attached. We'll disconnect it but the truck will be going in the back bar now since we don't have room out here. I could always park it outside which is okay but I like things indoors out of the sun out of the weather. And especially being here in the winter, uh, we definitely want it kind of kept indoors. I'm not sure what we really want to do here for trucks. I really want that 2020. And we might just trade in the Duramax because we've used that Duramax in a lot of videos before. And I also do like getting new things and stuff. So let me know down below uh, kind of what we should do. And this is always a little tricky trying to get in here and we have to get a little bit uh, further over to the toy hauler. Hopefully we could get some more snow to use that Fisher plow. Definitely want to use it. We spent a ton of money on it. But there we go. And I think let's uh, check on the chickens really quickly along with Diesel. And then we'll head on out. And yeah, they seem to be doing pretty well. I've been eating the eggs and they have been great for breakfast. Let's see what Diesel's up to here. It looks like he's out running around and always comes over here when we give him some food. So there you go, Diesel. And uh, he, he really does enjoy kind of running around out here, which is great. And I think uh, everything's good. The dishes are in the dishwasher. That's on. And everything looks to be good in here. Now I do kind of work on building a gaming room. I think that would be pretty cool. Big flat screen TV, maybe a simulator with a steering wheel, things like that. I definitely want to add to our kind of upstairs. Now we are taking the Raptor, which is for the wipe. I really, really enjoy driving this and it does actually need to be filled up on gas. But first let's test drive that truck and then we'll go check out the deal. So I found a deal for a Yamaha dirt bike in a, a single axle a uh, 10 foot utility trailer, $1,500. And I thought that was a great price. Now it is a little bit older, uh, but why don't we go check it out once we get uh, filled up here. What side is it on? It's on the side, perfect. I am trying to role play, be as realistic as I can here with my videos. And I think a lot of you guys in the farming simulator community really enjoy that. 
let's head on over to the Ford dealership. I think as we were uh, fueling up there, the train went by, which is good. This is a pretty long wait, five to six minutes uh, to let the train go by. There's a ton, a ton of uh, carts with the train, and the truck should be out front. The key in it, ready to go for us, and there it is. That's a 2020. It's a F-250 Lariat. That was kind of what I wanted them uh, to get us out here. So this one has the mud flaps, the foldable steps, and we do have a bed cover on this one, which is awesome. And we do have a bumper pull hitch here. And they did put a dealer plate on it for test drive. Now with this, we do have IC, so we could turn that on. And we could also fold out those mirrors, which is pretty cool. Let's make sure everything works. Oh, yeah. And the tailgate. Really, really like this, especially that bed cover. I probably want to get one of those for the Raptor. We'll just kind of drive around the parking lot really quickly, and I'm thinking that we will have to get one of these. I really like it a lot. Almost feel like just adding it to our fleet, but we already have three trucks technically, and I don't really want to add a fourth one. But let me know. If we do uh, buy this, I definitely want to get that sports car. Really, really am into sport cars and trucks, and it's nice to own a ton. Let's go check out the dirt bike and the trailer. Now, they said that it should be all loaded up and just to put the uh, money there in the mailbox. Now, what I did with this one was I actually kind of worked out the deal online uh, through text. It's a little bit easier than driving out all the way over there, taking time out of the day, and then kind of not uh, getting a good price. And there it is. That's a pretty cool uh, trailer. Let's kind of get backed up to it, and we'll have to look at it really quickly. From the looks of it, the trailer is in good condition, along with the dirt bike. It is a 2006 model year dirt bike. That's okay. I really want something just to ride around the yard with. But the, wow, this thing looks good. We'll do the deal. Let's drop it off in the door. Awesome. I put the money there in the envelope in the door. And let's head on home. Now, for quite some time, I really wanted a small trailer like this. It's a little bit easier uh, to kind of maneuver. And we don't need a big trailer for our dirt bike and even the Polaris. We will be going camping with the series soon, which I cannot wait for. It's a big, big camping trip that I'm planning, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But I definitely want to kind of uh, find a racetrack we could take the uh, sport cars to as well. Maybe camp at, at one of those for a weekend. And we are back here. So I think we'll just bring this around back, get it unloaded. And I want to take it for a ride. And I think let's actually get the uh, dirt bike unloaded and the trailer put away. We'll probably put the trailer in between the uh, buildings for now. It should be good. We'll get this warmed up here, but I do want to do oil change probably next week. And I will buy the oil during the week. The homeowner series is very popular here on the channel, which is pretty exciting. It's a lot of fun. We do so many cool things, and I just cannot wait to continue the series for a long time to come. Put the Raptor inside. The Raptor is here to stay. She really likes it a lot, and uh, it's it's a nice uh, vehicle. I think a bed cover is what we'll be getting probably next week for this. Hopefully it uh, will come in. I'll probably go to a Ford dealership and order it uh, probably tomorrow. We'll go to the back area and ride around. Really don't want to be tearing up our yard with any dirt bike tire tracks because I really want this to be a nice yard here. But we do have five more acres of land back here. Look at this. So, so much land. This is already a ton of fun and definitely a great purchase here for us. I can't wait to get a dirt bike track. That's going to be quite a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here. It's been an exciting one. Getting the new GT350R test driving and getting that dirt bike. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and to subscribe for more.